Blackmagic Design has done it again. They've updated DaVinci Resolve to version 20.1.1. In this update, I'll throw it on the screen here, they addressed a bunch of issues. A lot of it's kind of things that happen in the background, some issues with crashing, some cloud project issues, amongst other things that you can see listed here. And as always, general performance and stability improvements. But there's one thing that I do want to show you in here that I think would come in really handy, and that comes to when you want to copy and paste attributes. Check it out. In DaVinci Resolve here, I use copy and paste attributes all the time. For example, let's say that I've got this window on the screen. It's uh, one of Jake Whip's effects. I lo love them if you wanna check it out, link below. But if I select the clip here, I'm gonna copy using Command or Control C. And then I'm gonna go to another clip. So let's say this one, maybe I want it to match that first one. I'm gonna use Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC plus the letter V and that's gonna bring up the paste attributes window. So now I can paste whatever attributes that I want. In this case, we've got the color correction, we've got the fusion effects, as well as the volume already selected, but let's say maybe I want to do the scale and I'm just gonna pick a couple of these other things, right? Usually in the past, whenever we wanted to paste attributes, we would have to select all these things every time we go to paste our attributes. So now what Resolve does is it remembers which ones you have selected until the next time that you copy something. And you can even skip this whole window altogether if you want these same settings selected by checking this box, don't show until next copy. So that's pretty cool. So I can go ahead and hit apply. And there we go, it pasted those attributes. Now let's say I go to the next clip here. All I have to do is hit paste attributes, which is option or alt plus the letter V. Got to select my clip, option or alt V. And there we go, it doesn't even bring up the window anymore because it's gonna remember those settings until I copy something new again. So if I were to go ahead, and let's say I've got a full size clip here. I'm gonna copy this with Command or Control C. And then I can come back to this clip, Option or Alt V. And now you can see it's gonna bring up that paste attributes window again. And again, it's gonna show us all the options that we can check on here. I'm gonna say, let's do the zoom, the position. Okay, looks good. I'm gonna hit apply and I can save those settings and not show this again until I copy or you can leave it off either way is fine. And there we go, boom, we've got those settings pasted right there. If I wanted to do that on another clip, just go to the other clip, got everything selected there, apply, there we go. So really like that paste attributes. I do use that very, very often, pretty much on every project because it just makes things so quick to copy and then paste those attributes onto other clips. So Black Magic Design did it again. Thank you guys so much for listening to us, always fixing things up, making things better here in DaVinci Resolve. We really appreciate you guys. If there's anything that you want to see built into DaVinci Resolve, let me know. I want to hear from you guys. Drop a comment down below. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.